Hello from Academic Advising. This video is going to demonstrate how to navigate the various tools in Schedule Planner. On the Schedule Planner homepage, you will find six preference options on the top. Course status, USF system institutions, term, parts of term, instruction modes, and levels. You can change and update these preferences at any time. Let's start with course status. It is recommended to keep open classes only selected as students are only able to register for open courses. You can change to view full or waitlist courses so you can see all possible options should a spot open up during the drop ad week. USF System Institution allow you to specify which campus you wish to take courses. Students can choose to take an online course through a different campus. Just be sure to check meeting notes if the instructor will require any mandatory on-campus exams, assignments, or presentations. Term will vary depending on which term you are searching for class. Parts of term is most commonly used during the summer term as students can isolate A, B, or C session. If you are unsure, just be sure to have all parts of term selected. Instruction mode allows students to isolate on-campus or online courses. This preference will carry over from term to term, so be sure to have all instruction modes selected to start your search before narrowing down your schedule choices. Levels allow students to search for undergraduate or graduate courses. You can also add breaks. Students can name a break and set up a specific day and time for which they do not want courses to show up in their desired options. The break will show up in purple once a schedule is generated. This is a great feature if you know you are working or involved in clubs and activities. Once you have schedules generated, you can actually save schedules to your favorites tab. When you are viewing a schedule, you can select the gray heart icon up at the top and label the schedule. It is recommended students save a few schedules and be aware of the amount of seats open for classes. If one of your classes fills up, you want to be able to have a backup or contingency plan in place. Save multiple schedules so you have options ready to go prior to your registration time ticket. Thank you for watching. As always, if you have any questions, please contact your advisor directly.